Nano Banana Pro has been dominating AI image generation, but what if I told you there's a new model that just dropped that might actually dethrone it? Meet Seedream 4.5 from ByteDance. And trust me, after testing this thing for the past few days, I'm genuinely impressed. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, today we're doing a deep dive into Seadream 4.5, the latest AI image generation model from ByteDance that's making some serious waves in the AI community. Now, don't get me wrong, Nano Banana Pro is fantastic. It's been my go-to for quick, high-quality image generation. But Seadream 4.5, it's bringing some features to the table that Nano Banana Pro simply can't match. In this video, I'll walk you through seven real-world use cases show you exactly how to use it on chat LLM teams, and we'll see if it really lives up to the hype. So stick around, because by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly when to use Seedream 4.5 versus other models. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what makes Seedream 4.5 special. This isn't just another incremental update. ByteDance completely overhauled their model architecture. Here are the key features that set it apart. Number one, enhanced text rendering. This model can actually generate crisp, readable text inside images. We're talking posters, logos, product labels, stuff that usually looks like gibberish in AI-generated images. Number two, multi-image editing. You can feed it up to 10 reference images at once, and it'll intelligently combine elements from all of them while maintaining consistency. Number three, 4K resolution support. We're talking up to 4096 by 4096 pixels. That's professional grade quality. Number four, insane prompt adherence. Compared to version 4.0, Seedream 4.5 actually understands and follows your instructions way better. And number five, reference fidelity. When you give it a reference image, it preserves facial features, lighting, and color tones like a pro. Now, where can you use this? You can access the API from Byte Plus or FAL AI and then use it on any workflow. However, I will use it on Chat LLM by Abacus AI, which makes it super easy to access without any complicated API setup. You will get the link in the description, just head over there and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. Here, you will find almost all the popular LLM models. Under the text box, you will find the image option. This is where all the image generation models live you will find almost all the popular image generation tools or models. I am selecting Seedream 4.5. Once the model is selected, set the number of images. Next, you can upload images if you want to edit or use them as a reference. After that, enter the text prompts. Then, you have to set the image size and seed if you want. Once everything is set, hit the Generate button. Now we have to wait for some time. And here it is. The image is ready and you can see the quality of the images. Seedream 4.5 generates really high quality images. It perfectly pulls from the reference images and did a great job. Okay, now let's try some real life use cases. First of all, let's create a poster design with actual readable text. This is where Seedream 4.5 absolutely shines and where Nano Banana Pro tends to struggle. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a minimalist art exhibition poster. Here's my prompt. Minimalist art exhibition poster with an off-white background. A black line drawing of a human portrait positioned slightly to the right of center. The title, Autumn Art Fair, in elegant serif font at the top left corner. Three lines of small text at the bottom left showing exhibition dates, venue, and description, all left aligned with even spacing. Now watch this. I am opening the image generation pop-up. Next, select Seedream as my image generation model, selecting one as the number of images. This image doesn't need a reference image, so I will skip it this time. Now, I am entering my prompt and then setting all the other settings. Once done, just hit generate and then wait for some time. And here it is, the image is ready. Look at that! The text is actually readable. The typography is clean. The layout is professional and it looks like something a graphic designer would create. The small text at the bottom? Perfectly legible. Compare this to what you'd typically get with other models. Usually you'd see garbled letters or text that looks vaguely like words, but isn't actually readable. This makes Seedream 4.5 perfect for event posters, product packaging mockups, 
social media graphics with text overlays. Any design where typography matters, the fact that it can handle both large titles and small body text in the same image, that's a game changer. Moving on to use case number two, e-commerce product photography. If you're running an online store or creating product listings, this is going to blow your mind. Let's say I need a professional product shot for a sneaker. Here's what I'm going to prompt. A stylish product photograph of the white high top sneakers from the reference, placed on a textured concrete ledge in an urban setting. In the background, there's a blurred graffiti covered brick wall with the word A-F-A-S-H-I-O-D-N-S-L, spray painted in a stylized blue and red font matching the shoe's accents. The shoes are the main focus, with the city lights creating a soft, warm glow around them. The mode trend tongue label and side text are clearly visible. The overall feel is cool and streetwear focused. Okay, after coming to the image generation tool, select the Seedream 4.5 model and then set the number of images. For this image, we have to upload the reference image. I am uploading it. Now, I am gonna paste the prompt. Once done, I will set all other settings and then hit the generate button. Okay, just look at that result. This is absolutely flawless execution. First, check the consistency. The sneakers from our reference image are perfectly preserved. Every strap, every blue and red accent, and crucially, all the original text on the tongue and side panel is razor sharp and completely legible. The model didn't hallucinate or distort the product at all. But what really blows my mind is the prompt adherence in the background. I specifically asked for a graffiti wall with the brand name A-F-A-S-H-I-O-D-N-S-L. Not only is the spelling perfect, but look at the style. It adopted the exact blue and red color palette from the shoes to create the graffiti tag. The lighting is the final piece of the puzzle. That warm golden city glow hitting the textured concrete ledge creates incredible depth and shadows giving it that premium, authentic streetwear feel. It nailed every single instruction. Use case number three, multi-image character consistency. Imagine I want to create a consistent storyboard with this character. Let me demonstrate. After coming to the image generation option, I will upload the character image. Now, I will enter the first image prompt and then generate the image. Okay, here is our first scene image. Now in the same method, I will generate the second image. Once the second image is ready, I will generate the third image. Following the same method, you can generate as many consistent character images as you want. Look at the resulting images. I created six images with the same character, but in different places and outfits, different camera angles, and you can see that the character remains the same across all the scenes. So whether you want to create a storyboard, a comic book, influencer content, everything is now possible. Okay, now let's take things more advanced, where we have multiple characters, and we want to create a consistent character comic book with the same characters. I have a story and these images. I also collected all the prompts. I will share all the prompts with you. Now let's create the comic book panels. After coming to the image generation tool, select the model and the number of images. Now I will upload all the reference images. Seedream 4.5 allows you to upload 10 reference images. Once the images are uploaded, we have to enter the prompt. I am entering the first panel prompt from my doc file. Once the prompt is ready, set all other settings and then hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is, the image is ready. Just look at this result. This is essentially a fully finished comic book panel generated in one shot. First, look at the multi-character consistency. This is usually where AI falls apart, but look here. We have Sir Reginald's armor shining exactly like the reference, Bex's robe gear is identical down to the knee pads, and Professor Hinckley's beard and robes are perfectly preserved. It didn't blend their features, it kept them distinct. But the real magic here is the prompt adherence regarding the action. I gave it four separate instructions. Reginald pointing, Bex looking bored on a smartphone, Hinckley reading a guide, and Gorp eating a mushroom. It executed all four simultaneous actions perfectly without getting confused. And finally, check out the text rendering. We have four distinct speech bubbles. The text isn't just gibberish, it's legible and assigned to the correct speaker. To get four consistent characters, specific actions, and readable text in a single generation, that is absolutely top-tier execution.
In this method, you can create all the other pages and make a full comic book with complete, consistent characters, style, and perfect text. Okay, moving to the next use case, architectural and interior visualization. This is where Seedream 4.5's understanding of spatial relationships really shines. Let me create a modern living room concept. Prompt. Modern Scandinavian living room interior. Large floor-to-ceiling windows with natural light. Minimalist white sofa with gray cushions. Light oak wooden floor. Indoor plants in ceramic pots. Abstract art on the wall. Warm, inviting atmosphere. Photorealistic, architectural photography style. 4K quality. And here it is, the result is ready. Look at the spatial accuracy here. The perspective is correct. The furniture proportions make sense. The lighting creates realistic shadows. And the overall composition feels like an actual room you could walk into. For interior designers or real estate professionals, this can save thousands of dollars in 3D rendering costs. Seedream 4.5 is genuinely impressive. The text rendering alone makes it worth using for any design work involving typography. The multi-image consistency opens up possibilities for storytelling and branding that weren't really feasible before. And the 4K output means you're getting professional-grade results. Is it perfect? No. Is it a complete replacement for Nano Banana Pro? Also no. But is it an incredibly powerful tool that deserves a spot in your AI toolkit? Absolutely. However, you can also access the Nano Banana Pro, along with other powerful AI image generators, like Klingo One on the chat LLM teams by Abacus AI. Not only that, but you can also access almost all the powerful AI video generator models, along with other LLM models. All this is only for $10 per month. All right, let's wrap this up. If you found this tutorial helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more AI tool reviews and tutorials, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating!